I just want to let you guys know that I want to help all of us really get us through it and you know hopefully when we come out on the other side of it all that we're gonna look back and say you know what this wasn't too bad Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to uh, part three of the Crush Card Cup. Um, I'm in my third round and um, I'm playing against uh, Dragio. Um, so super excited to uh, get started with this match and uh, we'll jump right into it. So here I uh, lost the dice roll and so he elects to go first. Um, he's piloting um, Orcus uh, with a little bit of spice. He's using the danger engine. Um, so he's gonna, you know, elect to go first. So he normally summons the recycler, but unfortunately I have the imperm for the effect. So uh, there's not much you can do there. Orcus is very fragile right now. And so like literally a hand trap would like kill them if they don't have like uh, extenders. So I think that's why he's playing like the um, danger engine in order to get um, access uh, like to plays uh, past a hand trap. So here he's gonna reveal Thunderbird, and uh, we had a little bit of discussion essentially because he was saying like uh, like roll the dice and then do from uh, one two three four five six from deck to extra deck, but I didn't read that, and then I just did from extra deck to deck. So like this would be one two, this would be three four, and this would be uh, five six. Um, but anyways, I, I told him like okay that's fine if you want to do uh, if, we, if we do extra deck to deck, uh, we, I'll just re-roll for you. That's fine. So I was like, I was like, okay, you want to shuffle your hand and then let's re-roll. So he re he shuffles his hand and then we re-roll, and then I re-roll a uh, an another five. And so I'm just like, okay, this this all the way at the bottom left. I sniped the Thunderbird there. So I mean that was just like super unfortunate. Like can't do much from there. So he literally negged one right there. Uh, and then he goes into Mothman, and then guys, unfortunately, I just sniped it again. So uh, there you go. Uh, I sniped the Mothman, and it's if each. He's gonna have to be forced to activate Mothman because if he gets lucky, he can mill um, an Orcus card and then just keep playing. Um, so at this point, um, I essentially, um, uh, it, but it's super plus for me too because I get to like dump my like elixirs or like my Lords of plus. So he activates the fact we both draw one and we're both gonna dump one. Uh, he dumps a Jackal, which I thought was weird, which meant that he did uh, whatever he had in his hand, the remaining card, I knew there wasn't an Orcus card um, or it's just like a card that was not playable. Um, so at that point, I dump my white to plus off the next turn, and then he uh, dumps his uh, jackalope, which gets him access to Chupacaba. But at this point, like, there's not much he can do. Like, his set was Crescendo, which I didn't know at the time. I thought that reason why he set this card was because it was like a return, and he wanted to like uh, hit a danger, um, hit like a nightmare or something, and then make Galatea, and then uh, Galatea effect set, and then just keep playing from there. But uh, it just it was uh, the Crescendo. Um, I. I don't know why he said it because I would want Crescendo in my graveyard, especially to like keep playing. Um, but I, for some reason, he set the Crescendo. I, I honestly didn't think it would be Crescendo just because like I want Crescendo in my graveyard. Um, but I guess he was just being greedy and trying to like have an unexpected um, Crescendo. Uh, then he makes like Anaconda Verde uh, here, and uh, so he dumps Instant Fusion to. Um, essentially uh make a uh mud dragon but he realized that at end phase it's um and because of anaconda's restriction you can't special summon anymore for the rest of the turn so uh mud dragon is going to get destroyed at the end phase uh here i draw another lord which was okay um also drawing dd crow off the mothman meant that even if he discard like a uh, orcus i was i was able to like just dd crow it anyways so that was like super fine um, i'm just gonna activate Elden to search a um the trap so that f so that i can send it with my lord uh, I send the back row because, like I said, I was I was unsure what the back row was. Honestly, I th it could have been a call by the grave as well, um, and that was totally fine with me. Even if I get call by on the Lord, I had a guarantee Lord access because Conquistador is gonna get me red anyways. But I just wanted to like bait out the back row because he literally had nothing else playable, and I had a DD Crow for his Orcus card so that it uh, wouldn't have mattered anyways. So, like at this point, um, I'm just gonna send the back row. Yeah, and it turns out so it, there it is, like the crescendo. Uh, so that was like super scary um but that's fine i know he just gets access to like gizbank at this point so like quote unquote survive if he needed to but he's probably gonna try and search a nightmare card or something but i just summon back lord uh make it you know beefy and then just attack over the uh anaconda which is like very weak so he takes a lot of damage there i use white to set a pop i have the hard drawn counter trap and i get red at end phase so he has to play through a pop counter trap and a dd crow which at this game state is just impossible to play through so you normal summon scrap and then I'm just gonna counter trap it and then it should be just be um, uh, essentially game but he's gonna, he's gonna try to keep playing which is to get the gizmec but all I'm gonna do is just uh, 
essentially um, use red to summon the Lord and then just uh, pop the Gizmek. Just because there's no point um, to like let Gizmek like stay there. And then I want to like kill him next turn. And of course, like I have uh, DD Crow as well. So if he, I wanted, I didn't shotgun it immediately because I wanted him to banish eight more cards just so he negs a little more. And so uh, Lord Effect cost, I'll summon. And at this point, I figured why even waste my resources? Let's just like uh, make Gustav Max and just burn it for the remaining 2k. And so that was just uh, easy game, uh, easy game one. He just like bricked and like didn't draw too well. So I capitalized on that and I drew a hand trap. Uh, Scrappy Circuit otherwise would have been a one card combo. Uh, so he likes to go first again to like get another shot. He uh, normal summons Scra Brass Bombard. Um, and then he's going to activate Foolish Burial. I let this resolve just because I know I can just DD Crow um, on resolution. And but in, he sends Nightmare, which um, there's no point to shotgun DD Crow on the Nightmare because. You can just uh, DD Crow whatever Nightmare sends, and then Nightmare can't activate for the rest of the turn. So it's like better to like do it this way. Um, I guess uh, the reason why you could have DD Crowed it right away is because if he has another World Wand in hand, dumping World Wand through Nightmare meant that he can just uh, special summon World Wand from his hand because a World Wand hit the um, graveyard, which meant that he can like extend and like keep playing. Um, and then Galatea would shuffle back one his banished cards, um, but. Um, so that and like could have been like a misplay on me if he had the wand in hand um, But he didn't so um, he also activated like foolish burial. So honestly like he didn't I didn't think he had it But anyways, he dumps that and on resolution. I banish one right away At that point he just passes um, Here in standby, I'm gonna shotgun a cosmic because I don't want to lose to a call by the grave here um, And I hit a twin twister, which was like pretty lucky But the dino mishes which he has I didn't know at the time is a lot scarier so here I'm going to use Soul's Effect to uh, summon, and I'm going to use Soul's Effect to just only send one. I didn't want to be greedy here because I know that this is going to give me Lord Access and this is going to give me a pop. If I send two, essentially I'm going to pass on two big Lords if I don't draw into two good cards. So that was just like a bad play in my opinion. I'd rather just send one, draw one, and then be safe, and then trigger Conquistor at end phase to give me my Lord plus a pop. Like Lord plus pop is better than double Lord because Lords are vanilla on my opponent's turn. Um, then I make the um, Anima and then I punish him for putting Brass Bombard in zone 2. So I just literally take it. I search out, uh, I use Eldlin, but then he's going to activate Dino Mishes to essentially banish my Eldlin here. And then he's going to trigger Mothman, which I think is so neg because I drew into the Lord anyways. So I was like, what? And he drews into Babel, which dumps it. And then I dump my Lord so I can send his Brass Bombard to the grave and then summon it for free. And so that's like another mechanic that you guys can do. Like Anima is really broken because the card you take becomes an equipped spell. So uh, because it's an equipped card uh, in the spell and draft zone, uh, this El uh, Elish the Golden Lord recognizes that as, uh, as something that you can send to the graveyard to special summon. So I'm just going to hit him for uh, 3,500 and then set Conquistador at end phase, get another red. And so this is really critical because now I can just uh, pop whatever he summons and then I definitely have tr game um, because I have another Lord. He top six, um, another, another Dino Mishis at the time. And um, yeah, there's just not much he can do. I end phase, activate red, and then uh, he just concedes from there. So uh, it was just a quick game, but unfortunately my opponent bricked and I just like drew like really nuts both games. So yeah, uh, GG to that and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.